Duty is about to reach into the future and destroy as much of it as humanly possible with Call of Duty Black Ops 2. And Mark Lamia, the head of Treyarch Studios, is now here right off the Xbox press conference stage to show us more of Black Ops 2 that we did not see in the briefing, right Mark? Yeah, absolutely. We're going to show you guys more of the level. Uh, you know, it was amazing to be out there on the stage with Xbox, but for you guys, we're going to give you some more. All right, well, let's take a look. It's uh, Black Ops 2. Now, you guys announced this game uh, about a month ago, and everyone, were, everyone knew you were making Black Ops 2, but the fact that this is set in futuristic Los Angeles, this level, I mean, it opens up the possibilities for you guys, right? With weaponry, Absolutely. lots of stuff, right? Yeah, you know what? Putting it in the future, just an entirely new set of weaponry, gameplay, mechanics, the fiction, you know, the fiction is just this amazing time-spanning narrative. Right. Uh, we're set in this situation here where our villain has, has stolen the keys to the U.S. military infrastructure and he's turning our greatest strengths into our greatest weaknesses here. Right, and you're playing here, this is something interesting, you're playing the, the son of Alex Mason, right? David Mason? Yeah, you're playing as David Mason. So if you remember from Black Ops, you're playing as Alex Mason. And uh, you're gonna. This is, this game's a direct sequel to Black Ops. So you're gonna you're gonna play with Alex Mason again when we uh, show you parts of the first Cold War back in the 1980s. Right. Uh, you're gonna be discovering what our villain's motivations are, and then your son here, David Mason, is on the hunt for the villain here in this uh, 2025 setting. And of course, in this particular situation, uh, the villain. Uh, Thanks for looking grim. I'm, I'm getting a little worried here about being at LA Live with uh, all this happening. Uh, but don't worry about it here. Anderson's come in here to uh, to help you out. So it's amazing what you guys have done. You know, really pushed obviously the limits of the technology. One of the great things about Black Ops 2 is that you guys are, are really pushing to innovate with the gameplay. I mean, you've said on the record you're going to have branching storylines. We'll see some moments here even where you can pick whether you snipe or repel. I mean, you're trying to get people more options about how to play through the campaign, right? Yeah, absolutely. Look, I think. One of the things that people love with Call of Duty is they love that, that cinematic and intense gameplay experience, and we just want to add more choice. So, for example, here, this is a very small example, but, but you know, this, this level will play differently, whether you choose to snipe here or repel down. In this case, the player's chosen to snipe here. So, uh, you've picked up a Sniper Storm, which is a futurized uh, uh, sniper rifle that has a couple pieces of technology on here that are from... 2025 and so when first, you zoom in here it's you yeah no absolutely that 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 technology right there that's sort of inspired off of the the sort of you know the millimeter wave scanning technology that we have out there today you got to imagine as processing power gets gets uh, gets more powerful in the future you're going to get that down to a much smaller size and it's right. going to make for in this case an optic you know, there's wow. a charge shot mechanic here, which is an entirely new mechanic for for uh, for sniper rifles here in Call of Duty. Um, you know, the, the longer you charge it up, the deeper you can penetrate surfaces. So, well, and this is stuff. Obviously, I know you probably can't say a lot about multiplayer, but obviously, this kind of technology and stuff will probably transfer over to the MP game as well, right? Well, yeah, the, the, the multiplayer game, it takes place entirely in the year 2025, and right. what we'll tell you about later, you know, the weapons and and everything that's in multiplayer, we're going to tell you about later. Right, but obviously we're cool, cool new toys that people can there play with There are tons there. of new toys. Absolutely. Now, we're looking at some uh, some new stuff here, because uh, the Xbox demo had to, to cut off at a certain point, so now we're going to look at some brand yeah. new gameplay, right? Absolutely, absolutely. So, you still got to fight up the street, right? You're still protecting the president and, and the detail there. You have to make your way up the street. Um, I think one of the things about this whole scene is, you know, we've, we've totally, uh, you know, overhauled our entire render. The amount of, and the level of detail, the amount of detail, the lighting, the effects, just everything is on a completely epic scale for this game. Something, uh, so right there, what he's doing there is that's a, that's a grenade. You know what, in the future, are you going to have to rely on human strength? Or are you going to be able to have something where you'll be able to target and be able to, to uh, you know, my More favorite thing is that you've got the uh, the robo dogs, right? The drones. We we do have drones, and let me tell you, what, we'll get we'll get to that point uh, a little bit later in the. We demo won't spoil here. it. All right. Yeah, but yeah. Yes, so, the drones. So, we saw them in the trailer. People are excited. Right. So so here we are. We're inside the car. You're driving. So you're really driving this because people are always wondering, you know, how much vehicles driving. in there. So you don't. I mean, you're, you're driving. Know, sort of on rails. You get to go left and right a little bit, right? And yeah. No. Car, absolutely. Yeah. Well, you're constrained by the by the the road. The freeway right? here by the road. <laughs> so. Um, 
Wow, got the jets flying through. Yeah, no, this is just, you know, the level of destruction the team's working on the environmental animation. So a couple, a couple blocks away, we're almost ready to see the car driving by here. So you're going underground, obviously, here. Um, and what is what is your goal? What is your mission here? You're obviously, you know, we saw the president, and obviously there was something going on there, right? Yeah, no. So you're you're on detail to protect the president um, here, and and that's and, and and so you're in constant communication, right? The president's right behind you. You're escorting. I think we've heard this. Um, and then, then something happens. You know. Yeah, it was an amb you're, you're ambushed. You, you know? get ambushed, ambushed, but that's not all because this level just continues. That's the right. When you first show this to me, it's like 20 minutes of stuff. It just keeps going yeah. on and on, right, with all this action and all this gameplay. Yeah, so like, like right here, after after you get hit, we're opening up, right? Um, you know, just, again, the effects, the character work. Well, what you guys are doing with the performance capture and the, the actors, I mean, you're really pushing the storytelling in-game, which I think is something that, you know, Call of Duty, I, I think, it has been a bit of a weakness in the series over the years, that you guys have had amazing action, amazing gameplay, but sometimes, you know, the story hasn't always been in the game. And, I mean, here you look, look at all that happening with the, you know, the bikes and the characters and the voiceover. Even the story of Anderson there. You know, Anderson yep. is that plane. It's there. Uh, it's protecting you. Um, of course, Harper here. Um, we saw there some we performance go, capture. There we go. There you go. That's 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 the claw, the cognitive land assault weapon. So uh, obviously an intense firefight going on here, getting out of that ambush. Um, you know, you you have the technology of the battlefield there. You're trying to take out these claws, move up, obviously. Um, but you know, the level of detail the team is going into into here, not only in the gameplay, but like you said, the story and the characters. You know, we're working with David Goyer. Um, who was also the uh, the writer on the Dark, Dark Knight, Knight to help bring, yeah. yeah, help really create a compelling story um, and really uh, really bring to life these characters. That's right, and you've got this villain uh, Menendez, Roll, you were Roll talking Mendes. about, right? Yep, yep. He is. He is. Uh, we're going to introduce you a lot more to him later, but of course, you know, you already know a little bit about him. As I said, like this, the, the story arc of the game is really, in a way, it's his story arc because we're going to learn about it again. In the, I mean, in the '80s, we were playing in the first uh, with the with the team from the first Black Ops. Wow! And they go into the hotel here. Well, this this is looking amazing. This is uh, you know the LA level. So where is this set in the game? Is this the middle, the beginning, the end? Yeah, this is about this is uh, the sort of the back. I would say the back half of the game. Okay. Yeah. All right. Absolutely. So this is this is the escalation. There's okay. yeah, but but uh, like. With Black Ops, just when you thought right. you you knew everything and what was going on, we like to you know we like to turn it. That's that, that's what we do with our story in Black Ops. We right. we, we want to you know we like to set you up. You think you know what's going on, and then we just. Well, that was like the announcement trailer. We saw horseback riding. You've got that in there, and it's like we've got futuristic LA, but then we've got stuff you know set back in the 80s. I mean, there's so much to this game, and you guys have done uh, such a great job, I think, pushing the Call of Duty brand in some new directions with this. And I know tomorrow you're going to be back with us to show another level that you've got called uh, Strike Force, which is another type of gameplay. So. Yep. Busy times at Treyarch, and we'll hear more about multiplayer, I guess, probably later on this year, right? Yeah, no, absolutely, Jeff. Looking forward to it. Thank you All very right. much. Well, Mark, thanks for rushing over from the Xbox stage. We really appreciate it for that exclusive new look at Black Ops 2. And stick around, guys, because we have so much more coming up on E3 All Access Live. More exclusives, you can believe it, right after this.